everybody. So I'm going to be participating in the One Book July Challenge this year. It's going to be my first time ever. And I am going to link a video below for you guys to see uh, by uh, Romani. She um, is going to basically tell you that there are no rules no matter what anyone tells you because it is her challenge and she did create it. And uh, they have actually come up, I guess, there are three different versions you can do. You can do all three. I think, like, if one book, you can, like, incorporate all of them or something like that in one book. You don't have to. But anyway, um, I'm just going to do challenge number three, which is one book, one project, one month. And I'm going to be working on my second Fibonacci. I know I haven't even completed my first one, but this one, um, I thought I would start now because I have all the time in the world to get it set up. Um, and maybe look, do a little bit better than I did with my first one, even though there's absolutely nothing wrong with my first one. Um, you know, it's, it's just this one i am been experimenting with a lot, just trying to find out layouts that work for me. Um, this, so, you know, like I said, it's just, I've been arguing with it a little bit, you know, but like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. I just want to do something a little different. Um, with it and stuff, I'm, um, definitely going to be dropping the tabs. I'm not going to be doing those anymore. Um, you know, but like I said, you can see it's getting pretty fluffy. Um, so, with the second one, I'm going to, uh, I took a piece of gold accent paper out of my Craftsmith paper pack. It was a hot deal that I got from, um, uh, Michael's for five bucks. So, um, I'm going to take those and I'm going to line, so you can see it first, uh, it's got little pink little dots on it. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to just line this front cover and this back cover, leaving the gray pap uh, papers alone. And I'm going to probably, well, I'm still going to do my month layout, but I don't know if I'm going to lay out every day for the month. Um, because usually I'm not that busy, so I'm going to try something a little different where maybe, um, I'm not going to do, uh, you know, the whole month pa daily pages. And maybe with my one daily page, you don't want to do it, maybe instead of just one, confined to one page, maybe spread it over two pages. I don't know. We'll see how that works. Um, so I've got the whole month, you know, of July to figure out with this project what I want to do with my second one. Um... You know, and just be able to take my time with it. So, um, some supplies that I wanted to show, because usually I don't do supply videos at all because, um, I don't know, most people haven't asked to see what I use, so I don't usually do supply videos. I'll just show you what I got. Um, I bought this little tape dispenser doodad from, um, Hobby Lobby, and I use it for my washi tapes. Um, this... Washi tape uh, collection in particular is the planner one. I think it's like an old version of it though. Um, it was the last box they had, but I like this one here at the at the bottom because it has the days of the weeks. But yeah, this I got um, for twelve something because I had a fifty percent off coupon because it normally retails for twenty four ninety nine. Um, this one I got. I want to say last year, but it was it's the holiday one, and I got it for ten dollars. And stuff, it's got, you know, the New Year's, I think some birthday stuff, Easter, uh, St. Patrick's Day, Fourth of July, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So this one was $10. Um, but, like every crafter, my washi tape collection has exploded. So I have another set of planner um, tapes, and this is also why I bought... Uh, they're not actually crafting scissors or anything like that, but that's what I labeled them as because that's all I'm going to use them for. Um, when I have these little ones, uh, tapes here, this one's got envelopes on it, so in my planner I can use it to, you know, for bills. Uh, the little cart one for shopping. This washi tape as well has the days of the weeks, glasses for, like, what I'm reading. Um, this one has got, like, a little checklist like things and then I like the coffee cups um, these were normally $19.99 at um, Hobby Lobby but uh, they had a 50% off for the paper studio and so I got 10 bucks so I bought a second one and then uh, 
I swear this is the last of my washi tape, but I got this uh, right here in this jar. I got a Dollar General for three dollars. Um, but yeah, so I bought these little decorative ta uh, duct tapes. I guess if that's what you want to call it. They normally are two ninety nine. Got it in a clearance bin for a dollar seven. Uh, Pam, you'll recognize this one. Um, she had used it in her DIY planner for 2016 for May, and it's just got paint spatters on it. And then I have a tiger print. Uh, I guess you, if you want to call it shepherd, uh, what shepherd? <laughs> uh, cheetah or leopard. Um, and then I want to say these are like Hawaiian flowers, but I am not positive. But they are flowers regardless. Um. So yeah, that's all my washi tape, and I really like this one here. Um, I randomly picked it up, but it's got stamps on it, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, those are what I'm using, and then the one other, um, supply that I got, it'll be the first time that I've ever used them, are these gelatos. They are the metallic ones and I got these also at Hobby Lobby and I used my 40% off coupon so that I didn't have to pay the $24.99. Gone for $14.99 instead. And what I really like is the, you know, for someone who's never used them before, I can do it with or without water and it even comes with a paintbrush. Um, so these are, yeah, they're by Favor Castell if I say that correctly. Um, first time I've ever seen them, uh, in Hobby Lobby and stuff, so, you know, because Pam has talked about gelatos, and I was like, what the heck are gelatos? Well, now I know, and stuff. Um, I guess you could also work with them with, like, with gesso, and, um, all stuff, like, up here, it tells you all the stuff you can use it with, um, and what it works great on, so it works on paper, so that would be great, because that means I can use them in here. Um, and then the one last thing that I got is, um, about this little jump stone, also by Paper Studios, and this is for when I complete this baby right here, and I will put it on here, and then it'll go on a bookshelf, but this will be, you know, showing that, uh, I have completed it, and I will do that probably with my, all my Fibonichis and my planner, and, uh, yeah, so. That is what I'm going to be doing for my One Book July, and, um, yeah. So, thank you for watching, um, this video, and if you have not subscribed, please do. Uh, and as always, if you're going to leave a comment, please, oh, comment, please be nice about it, and, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!